In this video, I'm going to show you how to get D's twinned armor set, the one that you're looking at right now. This is an early game-ish kind of armor set. It's a very heavy armor with a lot of defense. This is through the Fia quest line. So in order to first meet D, it will be in the starting area here by the Saints Bridge. This is in like the first area that you actually are in here. So you head towards the right of the wall and you're going to go across the bridge to this location right over here. Now this is where you'll first see D and you might mistake him for an enemy. But and if you actually do kill him, you can get his armor just straight up here. But if you want to follow the quest line, keep watching the rest of the video. So after you speak to him, he will actually end up moving to the round table. So you're going to go ahead and teleport there to speak to him to start the quest. What he's going to do is actually mark a red icon on your map for you to find. Now this is located right over here in the starting zone to the right of Saints Bridge, like further right as you can see where we are. The, the icons here is just above the Church of Marica. When you get to this location, it will lead you to a teleporter portal that you need to go through. Now when you go through the portal, there'll be a giant door in front of you and there's a boss behind you. Don't worry about him too much right now. You are going to go down there later on, but for now, go through the big door in front of you. Now, when you enter this giant chamber, don't worry about this guy. He's friendly. You're not getting into a boss fight or anything. You just have to walk up to him and hand him a death root. You just have to hand him a death root. Now, outside that door, you're going to follow this location down and you're going to run along this path over here until you can get to over here. This is because we're collecting a half of a medallion at that location at this fort over here. So you can see it's in this red area to the right. You just got to start here and go all the way down. When you get to this little fort, all you have to do is go up the tower and go loot the chest with the medallion, the right side of the medallion inside there. You'll also need the left side of the medallion. So this one is actually near the starting zone. As you can see over here, you should know this area quite well. You're going to go over to this fort over here, get to the top of the fort through up one of the ladders, and you will see there is the left side of the medallion. And now you need to travel a little bit more to go to the far left, upper left side of the map here. So this is past the castle, up this route over here to this giant lift. You need to get to this area here at the top left of the map. You'll know you're in the right place when you see this giant kind of monument building facing this huge cliff. Once you go inside, you will see you can use the medallion to kind of activate this lift and it will take you all the way to the top. Now, before you do anything here, you are going to want to get on your mount and you're going to go to the left. As soon as you get at the top of the lift here, there will be a site of grace over there. I've already collected it, but you'll see all the yellow sparklies over here. It's literally just on this little ledge up here. Now you can fast travel to the round table hold again, and you can either speak to him to quickly finish the quest line that you did with that um, death route thing that you gave, but you're going to run past into this room over here, past the blacksmith into this room here where there's that lady Fia on the bed here who's going to give you nice cuddles and hugs. You'll know you did everything correctly when it goes up to this menu here and it asks, may I ask a favor? And then you select that option and she's going to give you a dagger that you need to return to its rightful owner. This is going to be D. So go back into the room with the round table, speak to D, and you're going to be giving him the dagger. Once you've done that, all you have to do is either just fast travel back here or just pass some time. You just need to like refresh the zone. You will now notice that he's not here anymore, and you're actually going to go towards the blacksmith room. You're not going to go into Fia's room. You're going to cut a left here past the back blacksmith all the way into that door in the far left side over here, and you're going to go into that room. You'll see D is now on the ground. Something stabbed him brutally, and he's just lying here covered in blood, and when you pick up the stuff, you pick up all of his armor. So, like, he's struggling here, and you just looted all of his things. That's, that's harsh. And then there's a little bit of story from Fia, but this is how you get the armor, and that's all you need to know. So again, this is what the armor looks like. Looks pretty interesting. There's like a like a statue of something being like hugged in the middle there. It's very intricate and interesting design. If you want to know what the stats of the armor, here they are right now. This is the helmet, the twinned helmet. Here is the twinned armor. Here are the twinned gauntlets. And finally, the twinned greaves. I hope you guys enjoyed the armor. I hope you found the video helpful. And thank you so much for watching.